Welcome back to the Algebra 2 series. Today's video will be dealing with the property called the uh, change of base property with logarithms. And you see it written here. I will just work with this portion of it that we can change the base of a logarithm from A to any other base of our choosing. In this case, I would choose C. And we do this. Uh, kind of, um, well, not very often, but once in a while, we need to change a base in order to get things, uh, say, to estimate it using a calculator. And you see the third part of this, the log base E, or the natural base, so that that one could easily be put into a calculator to calculate an estimate for log base A, M. And that, that's pretty common. So uh, we do want to know where this particular property comes from. So in order to illustrate this further, I'd like to show you a review of this first property that we studied. That was a very confusing one. How is it that a to the power log base a m is equal to m? In order to illustrate that property, I'm just going to write 3 squared equals 9 and convert this into logarithm form. So in this case, it would be log base 3. The value 9 goes into this position, and then the exponent is what we're putting on the right hand side as if we're solving for the exponent. So our logarithm, log base 3, 9, is equal to 2. If we try to do the same thing on this right hand equation, we're going to write log, and we're going to put the a in the same place that we put the 3. Oops, I, of course, we want to put an a there, not a 3. So a. We want to put where we put the 9 over here, we want to put the m. And then on the right-hand side of the equation, we want to put the exponent, which is log base a m. And of course, these are equal, and so we convince ourselves, oh gosh, if they're equal, then this must be equal. So that's kind of a cute little uh, property for us to use. And we use that within our computations quite often. Let's go back to this problem then. What we're trying to do is we're trying to show that indeed log base a m is equal to this middle expression. Before I move on, though, I, I actually would like to multiply the equation on both sides by log c a. In this case, that would produce log base c a times log base a m equals log base c m. And the next step here, this is a logarithmic equation. I'm actually going to write this exponentially using the c base right here. I will write c as the base value. The exponent is everything on the other side of the equation, or log base c a times log base a m. And that is equal to the value that's inside of this log m. So that's lovely. A uh, very complicated item there. The next step is to go back to what we know about exponents, and that is something like this. Um, 5 to the third power times the se times 7 can also be written as 5 to the third power all to the seventh power, and that could be rearranged if we so desire to 5 to the seventh all cubed. Any of those three forms is correct. So knowing that, I'm simply going to slap a parenthesis around c to the log base c a and that will now go to the log base a m power by simply separating that multiplication into a parentheses. Well, I notice that c to the log base c a looks quite familiar. It looks like this guy. a to the log base a m is m. And therefore, we could say that, move this down a bit, c to the log base c a, this whole thing on the inside becomes a. And that is to the log base a m. But of course, a to the log base a m is m. Oh boy, what we just found m and m's here. Oh my goodness. And that seems to prove something. Well, what does it prove? 
it proves that m is m, so therefore the previous step must be equal, and therefore the previous step must be equal, and all those previous steps must be equal, and therefore this is correct. The final result of this is that I can change bases to any base number I want. For example, log base 3 of 7 could be written in a different base. It could be written, let's say, in base 5. Log base 5, 7. Log base 5, 3. And, of course, sometimes we would want to put that into base E or base 10 for our calculator. We'll continue with more examples of this later on. Hopefully you enjoyed that proof.